Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm an educator at the National Air and Space Museum. And I'm Christian. I'm an educator with Curious at the National Museum of Natural History. Now that you've hopefully had time to watch our workshop video featuring our explainers and cue crew and to do our design challenge on your own, let's go ahead and review. Throughout this challenge, we've been using design as a way to interpret and respond to environments. In this case, taking inspiration from the adaptations of deep sea organisms to explore the surface of Mars. This is an image of the design process that we use at Natural History to develop our activities and lessons called the Q method. We spent most of our time in this design challenge in the ideation phase, hypothesizing, creating rough prototypes, and testing a variety of concepts. That's so cool. We actually have a similar process for designing and creating programs and activities here at the Air and Space Museum as well. So we'd like to show y'all how we interpreted this challenge. This was my final product. Um, you can see it here. I did a dive into my recycling bin and found this water bottle that I could use for the body. And I wanted to make sure that I had something that was clear so that the astronauts could see out and observe the surface of Mars, but be insulated and protected from the elements like wind and also temperature as well. So that's why I included uh, this uh, shopping bag inside of the water bottle as well to provide some sort of insulation. And then I also used um, shiny pipe cleaners for wheels and for attachments. I was really inspired by bioluminescence, Christian, when you were talking about that as an adaptation for deep sea creatures. And so I wanted some sort of way for astronauts to be sure to see um, this mobile unit that they could be living and working in on the surface of Mars. Um, if I could go back, which I will go back and add things to my design as well, I would add in some form for communication. Maybe I just use pipe cleaners or aluminum foil to do that. But because astronauts would be up on Mars for two years, I would want to provide some sort of way for them to communicate with ground control, but then also friends and family so they didn't feel isolated from their lives. Christian, what did you design? Well, first of all, I really love what you did with the bioluminescence and the sparkly pipe cleaners. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did this. I designed a personal research suit, which was inspired by deep sea organisms like crystal jelly and the deep sea cucumber for my invention of the gelatinous mobility matrix to allow for movement and protection from the Mars surface environment. It was important to me to have accessibility in mind when I was making my design so that what I came up with was something that people could use regardless of their own way of moving about their environments. Um, anyone can be suspended in a jelly matrix. Um, I'm going to go back and refine my design, rework those grabbers at the end of my research arms to include a wider variety of attachments for more delicate and precise activities while researching the surface of Mars. So cool. I loved hearing about your um, inspiration and the influence on the gelatinous mobility matrix. I thought that that was really cool um, and an interesting way to interpret those adaptations as well. So we also had lots of designs from our Q crew and explainer members. So these pictures are the designs of our explainers, Annie, Isha, and Charlie, as well as our Q crew members, Maggie and Robin. So you can see within these designs that some of them had 2D interpretations, some had 3D interpretations, some decided to go with designing a, um, a form for astronauts to travel and live in on Mars surface, while others decided to create a um, suit for astronauts to wear out on Mars surface to protect them from the elements as well. You can see that there are lots of differences within these designs and no one is the same as another one, which I think is so cool. Now, um, if you'd like to hear more about their process, you can check out our workshop video. Now that you've seen what we've done, we'd like to see what you've done. Please send in pictures of your creations to the following email address, nasamfieldtrips at si.edu, and feel free to let us know how the design process went for you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We can't wait to see what you've done. Bye.